Hi, this is Mrs. Ridlin. I'm going to read to you Pigs in the Mud in the Middle of the Rud by Lynn Plord and John Schooner. It had rained, it had poured. Now a Model T Ford was stopped in the rud by some pigs in the mud. Pigs in the rud, Grandma said. Oh no, won't do. Got a shoe, but who? I'll shoe, that's who, brother said. He shooed and he squealed and he rutted and he reeled. But the pigs didn't budge, not a tiny little smudge. Hens in the rud, Grandma said. Oh no, won't do. Got a shoe, but who? I'll shoe, that's who, sister said. And he shooed and she clucked and she squawked and she clucked, but the hens didn't scatter, not a tiny little smatter. Sheep in the rud, Grandma said. Oh no, won't do. Got a shoe, but who? I'll shoe, that's who, Mama said. And he shooed and she jeered and she bawed and she sheared, but the sheep didn't shuffle, not a tiny little smuffle. Bulls in the rud, Grandma said, oh no, won't do, got a shoe, but who? I'll shoe, that's who, Papa said. And he shooed and he tussled and he snorted and he rustled, but the bulls didn't charge, not a tiny little smarge. Pigs, hens, sheep, bulls, all in the rud. Brother, sister, mama, papa, all in the rud. Oh no, won't do, got a shoe, but who? Woo e, up to me, grandma said. With her hands on her hips and a snarl on her lips and her dander up, Grandma yelled. Time for sock. Budge, scatter, shuffle, charge, smudge, smatter, smuffle, smarge, all of to sock at last. Empty rud, but look in the mud. With her dress all rumpled and her bonnet all crumpled and muddy head to toe. Grandma said, time to go. I hope you enjoyed the book. Now you can draw your favorite part of the book and maybe write a sentence or two. Bye.